It's Jay Wilson, and I've got a special helper today. He likes to rip it up on this, this Raptor. I mean, just look at him. But we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the FX6. He loves doing that. We'll get that all cleaned up. And he wanted to cut some shapes, basically triangles and squares, out of some polyfill just to put in the filter. So we're going to allow him to do that. We'll get that FX6 off. We'll take off a couple pieces of equipment in preparation for the Congo River tank. Are you ready, dude? Yeah. How ready? Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Ah, the life. It's all about getting the hose ready so that we can do it. This is his favorite part, I think. I don't think he likes taking it apart or anything, but as long as he knows what filter maintenance is, and for the most part, he's happy doing it, well, then that's all that matters. But he wanted me to show you this. Go fast. fast, really fast. Heard cats? It's like hurting a cat. Come on, we gotta go do the filter. Are you stuck? Did anybody just see that vulture fly by? <laughs> Makes me concerned. Okay, we're gonna go do the filter. A bird pooped on my head last time. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, the door's locked. Lesson to yourself. If you're gonna use the front door and go out the garage, unlock the front door. <laughs> so they did <dead. laughs> Uh, the filter. The filter? Mm -hmm. Okay, show me. Oh, uh, is it this one, I think? Yeah. A filter! Okay, so what do we got to do? Turn the power off first? Yeah. Okay, and then what? And we put in the tank. And then we disconnect it from the tank, good. Yeah! And then what? And we put it in the tank. And then we hose it down first, clean it up. Clean it down. And then put it back on the tank. So you ready? Put it back in the All right, tell them, here we go. Here we go! You go. Hi everyone, Liam's holding the camera. Yeah. You doing good? Is Daddy filling the tank and I just Liam? And I want the fish, the fishies. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's turn the camera off. Okay, so we've got it disconnected. It was very hard getting it outside and trying to wrangle somebody. So what are we doing now? Daddy, yeah. This stuff on my this but I need to put this in here so okay. I can do it. Okay. Daddy's gonna do the filter, okay? So just normal maintenance, right? Nothing crazy. We just want to check the filter. It hasn't been done in a while. It's been done in a while, so, so let, me, let me hold the camera. Okay, hold it right here. Okay, hold it right there and point to Daddy. Okay. You and Daddy. You. Yeah. You are going to take the plate to and while it throws out, my rockers, my master truck. There's somebody in the bottom. Yeah. Show me water right there. That's what they're in for. Somebody, somebody let us do it. Alright, let me see. We already put this product in our other canister filter, and we didn't show it on camera, but I wanted to show you it is empty. It's called Max Out Pro. Max uh, Out Pro. Whoa. You want to say that serious? Yeah. It's Max Out Pro, and then go, whoa! Oh. No, show them to the camera. Oh, no, we're done. We are done. So let's go finish this up, and then we'll pick up by putting it back on, and really gotta clean this thing. Don't let your canister filters go this long, because you gotta check the impellers, you gotta check the pumps, you gotta do all the maintenance, and uh, no excuses, but don't be like me in this situation. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, he's ready, let's go finish cleaning. So what are you doing? Oh, there's a beetle? Okay, let's leave the beetle alone. You got, what are you doing? I just cleaned 
What are you spraying? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So he likes spraying, but we added his little <laughs> little shapes. Uh, we're just gonna do it. It's not gonna harm anything. There's a lot of bypass in it, but there's a foam piece underneath, which is okay. And we're not really doing a lot of, we're not taking the foam pieces out. We're just raising them up just a little bit to clean them because it's been like this. Look at that nasty. Whew. But it's been like this for so long. Well, thanks for the warning that we don't wanna disrupt everything, right? We still want the fish to feel like they've been in there in their habitat and it wasn't disrupted as much. So let's finish this up and then we'll get it back on the. Okay, All I do is pretty easy. I connect these, make sure they're secure, and before I turn it on, I just open it up. You'll get some bubbling, you'll get some nasties, especially with these ribbed hoses. It's just, I'm not a fan. They're, the FX6 is kind of in its class with like a pond filter, so to speak. So there are other companies that make filters as beastly as this. They're just more of a pond filter. Uh, but when the FX6 markets itself as an aquarium filter, that's where you get some of these pond-like features, the quick disconnect, all that, the, the drain. I shouldn't even say quick disconnect because there really isn't one. Um, you gotta really press the buttons, but there's that water change method down at the bottom. A lot of this is designed from a pond filter. So the FX6 is in its specific own class because of the way they classified their filter. So now I'm gonna plug it in and get rid of all these nasties. Let's go. All right, so I've been procrastinating and I ultimately have got to get all of the equipment off of this and put it on the aquarium that you are kind of standing on. This is the Congo River Basin tank. This will be the new vivarium. So there is a Fluval FX6 that is disconnected and I have to get rid of this power head. This power head, first of all, this kind of stinks. And the pivoting head is not good. I had to adjust it. I haven't had, I think I had it like a year, year and a half when it was being used. Uh, just the, it's it works, but whatever it it doesn't stay where I want it to and I'll show you what I'm talking about So it, I don't know if it's the design or what but this piece right here is so easy to take off That it just doesn't seem to work for me. Maintenance is done. That was easy. It was 30 minutes. Little dude helped me. He's still spraying I can see him right there, but fx6 is on we cleaned it up. We've got Max out in there, as Liam said. We took the high door power head off there. Um, if anybody's watching this and they're local, you can have it. It's meh. But the varium is in the process. I've got confirmation on substrate and flowers and picking those plants out. And then I'm gonna get the sand out. I keep saying that and put it in here, but time slips away really fast. So I've gotta go. I've gotta go play with my dude and we're about to have some awesome time and you stay tuned to Wednesday so that you can enjoy a live video. So if you have any questions about your aquarium and it's not an emergency, come on Wednesday, seven central, eight Eastern and ask those questions. It's a perfect opportunity to get real good insight from not just me, but a bunch of other people that are inside that live chat room. So I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching. You know what's next. Hola. The message is, we don't know when it's over. 
We don't have that best used by date. So what are you waiting for? Attack what you need to attack, get it done, stop procrastinating because that just means that you really didn't want to do it in the first place. So if that's the case, find something else to crush. Have goals, have dreams, and have pizza. And remember, a wise man once said, never, f what is it? No, yeah, never pay full price for late pizza. Thank you for watching.